did Velma just die? Here's the deal. All right, HBO apparently has dropped a Velma trailer and I need to see it. I'm here. This is my job now. Live from live from the Scooby-Doo news desk. I am horribly, horribly sick. I can't make myself have clear, comprehensible thoughts. I don't even know if that was a correct thing to say, but we have, we have things to discuss, including the burning questions on everyone's mind, such as, hey, where's Scooby? in the show about Scooby-Doo characters. And also, is Velma gay? Because I need Velma to be gay? The answers to both of those questions will likely disappoint you, but most of this video was taken from a live stream I did on my second channel, NerdSync Sidekick. Go check it out, link in the description. Wherein I was completely zonked out on cold medicine and just rambling like an incoherent dunce. Which is why occasionally I'm gonna interrupt that stream of consciousness with uh, this, where I'm still very ill, but I, my brain can think words clear. See? Uh, and hey, if you like this sort of video, let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, do everything, do all the things, subscribe. I don't know. I don't ask people to subscribe very much. It'd be nice if you subscribe. Thank you. It's Scoobtober. You gotta subscribe for Scoobtober. Do it for a dying man. <coughs> Could a healthy person do that? Anyway, we have to watch this Velma trailer. We're gonna adjust to the audio, make sure everything sounds good by first watching um, this thing I found called Scooby-Doo saying gay rights. Women. <gasps> Women. <coughs> Shag, when we all graduate from high school and move- I kinda wanna together. watch, well, you know what? This will be our treat. We'll watch the rest of this after we watch the Velma stuff. Velma, official teaser, HBO Max. All right. Let's get into it. Here we go. Dear HBO Max. First things first, here's what I'm gonna say. I like the look of this show. I like the way it looks, all right? Sue me. You know, it reminds me of like Mystery Incorporated. It reminds me of like classic Scooby-Doo where the backgrounds have this like really textured painted look to it, which I really enjoy. I think it looks great. It also is sort of resembling that sort of 60s, 70s sort of background, like a Dexter's Lab sort of vibe in the in the architecture. I'm gonna say nice things about it. If you guys came to this stream thinking I was gonna I was gonna say bad things, and you thought I was gonna say that it it's it sucks. Uh, I mean, I might say I might be criti I might criticize it in some ways. But here's what I'm gonna say. I think it, just from this, it looks good. I just learned you intend to make a genre bending comedic origin story of Judy Jensen. So who do we think this is now? Because my first thought was, you know, kind of a green jacket, probably just because of the lighting. But my first thought was it might be Shaggy, especially because I don't know if you guys remember this. There were old Cartoon Network bumpers that were like cartoons sort of doing hijinks on each other. And I bet I could find it actually. Hello? Hello, Daphne. Do you like Scooby movies? Of course. I can see you like popcorn with your movies. What did you say? Do you like popcorn with your what? movies? That's not what you said. Where are you? Hello, Daphne. <laughs> Good gag, huh? Can I have some popcorn? Scooby movies all next week at 7 on Cart- So, I don't know. That feels- That feels like it was a pretty- Not- Maybe not intentional, but like- it, it's a very similar gag, right? So that's why my first thought was it was gonna be uh, Shaggy here, but <clears throat> I don't think so. Just because of what we know, uh, like photos of stuff that have been released of, of the the cast, cause like, I don't know, this looks like, this looks like white guy hand. <laughs> Is that weird to say? And Shaggy in the show is gonna be uh, Black, played by Sam Richardson, uh, who I love, by the way. I love Sam Richardson in pretty much everything that I've ever seen him in. So this is uh, Shaggy, Norval, right? They're calling him Norval. I wonder, I'm curious about why they're not doing Shaggy. You know what I mean? Why they're not gonna call him Shaggy. I think it's fun though, just cause I've always liked that Shaggy has just like, it's like an old school sort of name, Norval. You don't meet a lot of Norvals. We got Constance Wu as Daphne. We got uh, Glenn Howerton as Fred. Now, I will say this about Fred. Look, the design is fine. This is clearly from a point in the show where he's like a little bit overly stylized in comparison to the others, right? He's got a little bit more shadow, like like he's opened a door or something and it's like a dramatic shot. Whereas they're a little bit more flat, like they've got some shine in the hair and whatnot. But it looks fine. I don't I don't mind it. I sort of like the the pencil 
sketchy look to it. I've always liked that look in uh, in like comic book art and cartoon art. The way that like his eyebrows aren't fully filled in. You can see little gaps here. It doesn't look like it's continued to the other ones though. Like there's a little bit of irregularity in some of the darker, you know, some of the bolder black lines. But otherwise, I don't know. They look almost like different, completely different styles. Anyway, my point was, I don't think then that this is Shaggy. <laughs> this is the knife of HBO hating animation. <laughs> yeah, because it just goes like, all right, this show is immediately off the air. <laughs> This is HBO being like, all right, so uh, we tried, you know, we gave it a shot and uh, there it goes. And it's already, we, we gave it a teaser and it's already off the block. We've got serial killer on the loose. Loves killing girls, obviously. This one's a magazine about triangles and this one's a magazine about circles. All right, hold on, what's here? Jones Gentleman's Accessories. Aha, an Easter egg. We found one, everyone. October, Halloween, nope, it's Easter. There is one thing the internet agrees on. It's that you should never change anything ever. I hope you die. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is sort of one of those like meta sort of the internet's upset about this thing. So we're going to make fun of how the internet's upset about it on the show itself. I, I haven't seen Harley Quinn, but I've heard that Harley Quinn does that same sort of thing. What do we think about um, Mindy Kaling's voice for Velma? It's I feel like it's a little bit different from her normal voice. And I think it sounds like a, I mean, it sounds like a good Velma. All right. We got to look all around for clues. Crystal Cove, Fog Fest. Okay, so it feel do you think then this show's going to take place in Crystal Cove then? Because if they because it's not that way it wouldn't be Coolsville, like a pup named Scooby-Doo or any of the other like the live action Scooby-Doo's take place in Coolsville. This is a Crystal Cove, which is a like Mystery Incorporated sort of thing. Little cacti? What does that mean, huh? I don't know. What's happening here? Is that Velma? Or not Velma. I mean, obviously this is Velma. Is this Daphne? Are they not friends? I don't think it's Daphne. It doesn't look like Daphne. Someone's missing. A lot of a lot of Scooby-Doo stuff after Mystery Incorporated, like Happy Halloween Scooby-Doo took place in Crystal Cove instead of Coolsville. That's true. It's sort of like wherever they want to, it's sort of like wherever they want to go from here, right? Like you've got two options and it seems like a lot of modern Scooby-Doo stuff is aiming for Crystal Cove more than anything. More than Coolsville. Because I guess Coolsville sounds like too childish and Crystal Cove is less so. They're dealing with a serial killer, uh, maybe one main villain for the series. I would like that. I always liked Mystery Incorporated's way of doing like the uh, one long arc. I think that's a cool idea. Unknown caller, a cracked phone. Oh, and it's got the notch. Look at it. It's got a sharp notch. Come on, that's old school. Everyone's got the, what's it called? The dynamic island now on the iPhones. Then not get out of here with this. Ah, this does look like a Daphne then. So they were friends and now they're not friends. So another little Easter egg that we see here in Velma's room is this little note that looks like VD plus FJ, which to me indicates that Velma is gonna have some sort of unprecedented crush on Fred in this series. And I'm pretty sure their Twitter account for the series did confirm that. And this is so frustrating to me because this comes on the heels of like two days earlier, there was a whole clip going around from a new Scooby-Doo movie where Velma is clearly into women. Here are your Scooby snacks. And it's like they immediately course corrected by saying, never mind, just kidding, Velma is actually gonna have a crush on Fred. And like, if I'm trying to give the show the benefit of the doubt here, maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe this will be a long Velma's journey of discovering that she doesn't like dudes as much, or maybe that she's bi. I can get behind a bi icon. I am a bi icon. Hey there. How's it going? But I don't know, it feels almost backwards with like, they're obviously trying to make some sort of progressive, inclusive steps with this show but then immediately throwing one that like was so clear cut <laughs> from day one, just throwing that out the window. I don't know. We all know that every member of the of Mystery Inc. is gay in some capacity. 
Call Norval. All right, so we got references to just about everybody, right? Because we got Velma, Dinkley, and Fred Jones. We got Velma and uh, Daphne. And then what does this say down here? St stummy, Slumpy. Slumpy's in this one, everyone. We all know the favorite character, Scooby-Doo, Slumpy. Throw a picture of Slumpy up on screen. Everyone knows Slumpy. Slumpy, of course. Just everyone just write out Slumpy's catchphrase. Remember Slumpy? Wait, you're inside my house. <laughs> All right, this is how we get th that's oh, bloody. I look it it looks good. The show looks good, right? Look at this lighting. It's dramatic. It's fun. Yeah, Stlumpy says legalize it. Uh, I love when Stlumpy said... It, remember, guys, it's Stlumpy with a T before the L. It's Stlumpy. Remember when Stlumpy said G Willikers? That was a good one. Stlump in time. A couple Stlump in times. That was his, that was his big one. Uh, that one was a little derivative. Was Stlump in time? What is Scoob? Scooby? Scooby? The killer is Scooby. That's what I think. I think the killer's either Scooby or, or it's or, or it's Slumpy. Cause he's always been Slumpy's always been around. Yeah, well this is true, because if it was Slumpy, then he would have said Auga, which is Slumpy's catchphrase. So this is another question that I've seen people have in the show uh, regarding this trailer, which is Where's Scooby? And there are uh, two explanations, two reasons why Scooby-Doo isn't in this show, according to Mindy Kaling. She talks about how when they were adapting the show, they didn't just want to take these beloved characters and put them into, you know, these more mature adult situations, which is like what they're going to be doing for most of the characters anyway. But I guess Scooby-Doo was more too cartoonish, too childish, which sort of makes it feel like the explanation is either that they didn't want to take Scooby-Doo and bring him to the level of the of the show by making it sort of dark and gritty and, and murdery, it seems. Or they thought that having Scooby-Doo in the show, who is a little bit more cartoony as like a talking dog, uh, would sort of break the immersion of the viewers and distract from this otherwise sort of quote unquote mature sort of take on the franchise. Now, the thing about that explanation is, you know, it's pretty generous. It's it's like they're saying, we want to do this darker take, but it doesn't work with the dog, so we'll not use the dog, which I'm sure there's some merit and there's some truth to that. But also, the bigger reason why they couldn't use Scooby-Doo is because Warner Brothers told them, you can't use, you can't use the dog. You can't, if you're doing this with the show, you can't use, you can't use the dog. You can't use them, which is why it's so weird to me that they would pose the question in the show, it's in the teaser for the show itself. He's nowhere. He's not in your show. It's not a question. You can't use the dog. Do we think, now this is me getting real in the weeds of it here, all right? I mean, I'm real in the weeds of it because I'm on four different cold medicines and my brain is on an entire different plane of existence than all the rest of you. Do we think that this bee looks less like a bee, potentially, and it instead looks like a 13, like a 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo. And then, but then there's the what? Maybe 131. What does that mean, 131? Am I missing any more clues here? What are these three little things? If I put my mouse cursor right here, and, if, and it almost looks like a dog print, doesn't it? Oh, hey, we can look for teasers in here. All right, we got glasses, broken glasses. Don't you like my set design? You can't even tell. In my rush, I have, a, I have some glasses. I just put some glasses there, because I'm a genius. This looks like a G to me, which stands for g, -g, -g ghosts Some would say, ah, nachos. What is this? Three of them. Three triangles. New things are nice for a series, even if it doesn't work out, it sets a uh, precedent for someone else to do something neat. That's what I think. I mean, Scooby-Doo was just people, was like teenagers just solving mysteries and then people kept experimenting with it by being like, oh, the ghosts are gonna be real this time. Ooh, but this one's gonna be different because the ghosts are gonna be real this time. But I understand that the that most of, that like all of those up to this, up to this point really have just been like, they're still, they're still shows that are for all ages. Whereas this feels like it's, uh, a little bit a little bit different i want to know how representative this teaser is of the actual tone of the show 
That's a good question. I do too. I'm interested to know if the if the whole show is going to be very meta like this. If the whole show is going to be very um, self aware in what it's bringing to the table, and if it is going to bring anything to the you know all this sort of I don't well, you you said it best. Don't like don't just everyone stop me when I keep talking for too long. No one's stopping me. I I was very clear about this in my like sort of video that I did about the Velma show when it was like first sort of tease where I was like, I am totally fine with them changing whatever they want to change about the show uh, because I just want more Scoob content and I want, I'm glad that they're trying different things. I just want it to be good on its own sort of merits. I even have another video coming out later this week about HBO's recent animation changes and why I'm very concerned for everything in the animation department. Velma representing the fans that are complaining though is weird. It's like meta in the wrong direction. I, and I sort of agree with you there. It's weird, at least from this teaser, it doesn't feel like she's doing it sarcastically she seems she sounds like she's doing it very earnestly and it's like that doesn't really make sense to me oh i was gonna watch more of them saying gay rights really quickly oh yeah i mean what are the hex girls if not the embodiment of just gay rights hey everyone thanks for watching i gotta go record a podcast it's called it's probably not aliens i do it with my buddy tristan uh where we debunk ancient astronaut theory and ancient aliens the tv show on history channel go uh watch it i'm extremely sick i think i forgot to mention that and i don't feel good but the scooby-doo news waits for no one someone needed to cover it and that someone was me what did you think of the velma trailer let me know in the comments down below or you can follow me on twitter uh, and Instagram at Scott Nice Wonder or at NerdSync if you want to do more brand accounts. I'm on both of them. Go follow me everywhere. Oh, that's everything. Okay, that's fine. Well, there's 15 more seconds. Let's get, let's hear it out. Nope. Okay. <laughs>